Hey guys, it's Musha and welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I am going to be reacting to a takedown video. Yeah, simply because I love watching these types of videos like a corner takedown, like a long-term protective style takedown. Just because I'm interested in watching those videos, I just thought maybe you also might like watching them because yeah, I know some people who also like watching those videos because it's just satisfying to watch and to see the end results of, you know, if somebody kept in their protective style for like three months. It's interesting to see the final results you know how much hair grew and how much length they retained so that's what we're doing today I am just here in my bonnet just because yeah this video is just a chilled nothing too serious just here to have fun so yeah <laughs> this is another little fun series that I'll be doing on my channel depending on how this one goes <laughs> but yeah without talking too much let's get into the video <music> Grab yourself a cup of tea, get cozy, cause yeah, we're getting cozy. I got my tea, that's what I'll be drinking throughout. I'll be sipping as I watch this video. Okay, so today's takedown video that I'll be reacting to is from a channel called I Am Shia. I'll put it on the screen anyway so you guys can see. And she's taking down seven month old braids. And she says so much new growth. <laughs> so let's get right into the video, you guys. Okay, y'all, what's up? It's your girl, Chino Lane, and Thangs, back again with another cooking video for y'all. So, my lashes are all jacked up, y'all. Don't pay me no mind. You <laughs> boys about to come off because your girl. The lashes are hanging on by a thread. Sis could have just taken them off. But anyway, no shade. Do you, sis? Yeah, <laughs> she said it herself. But yeah, they were, they were a bit distracting, but you know. <laughs> girl's about to get ready to wash her hair, so your girl is not worried. However, Yo, my hair has been in these braids for six, I'm embarrassed to say, six or seven months. Six or seven months, bro. So, let's take this hair down, bro. It may have even been eight. I'm actually going to calculate how many months it was. And when you read this title, you're going to know exactly how many months it was. I am so embarrassed right now. Without further ado, though, we are going to hop into disclosing what's going on. Still fine, nigga. Still fine, okay? Still fine. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Y'all, yes, I have washed my hair while it was up. Look at this. Look at this. Wow, she was not lying when she said so much new growth. But the thing is, she said she had the cornrows in for six or seven months, or maybe even eight months. At that point, I'm thinking the hair has started locking because hair initially starts locking after six months. After six months, your hair is gonna start locking. So, we're gonna see how she takes this hair down, how she handles it, and I'm gonna give my 10 cents on the matter. <laughs> I feel like I've neglected, okay. Look at this. Look at this new growth. Really? Really, nigga? So first I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start by spraying my hair down with some oil, bro, cause Great start, she's spraying her hair with some oil just to give it that slip before taking it down. So that's a really good start. We're off to a great start. It's long overdue, y'all. Y'all know I got kinky hair, so I'll be tired of working with it, okay? Look at this. We about to get it in, though. I'm not about to. I moisturize it and wash it while it's braided and keep on moving. Good. She said she was moisturizing it and washing it while it was still in braids. So I guess she wasn't really neglecting her hair all the way together because she said she's been so busy. Oh my word. Do you guys see that? Like there's literally a white line going across. That's like build up, product build up. Now she said she was washing her hair, but we don't know how often. Was it every week, every month, every three months? We don't know. Y'all, I literally grew three inches, like two, three inches. 
she said she grew three inches period sis <laughs> what would have been nice though would have been like to see a before and after hi guys thank you so much for tuning in into this video hope you're loving the content so far i just wanted to pause here a minute and just to give my hair growth oil a quick shout if you guys didn't know i have my very own hair growth oil and it is called moto moto hair growth it's packed with all of the good ingredients all the good oils that we all know and love one of the ingredients in here is castor oil there's grapeseed oil there's olive oil extra virgin olive oil that we all know and love some eucalyptus essential oil lemongrass geranium it's just got a whole bunch of oils that promote hair growth if you're struggling with your hair and you want something that might help to boost your hair growth then definitely try out my hair growth oil and i also have my hair bonnet yeah these are the unbothered main um luxury gold silk bonnets i will link everything in the description box for you guys to check out below um while they're still available they're selling out really fast so make sure you get yourself one and be part of the tribe and i want to see you wearing your bonnet and using your oil thank you so much hold on y'all let me go get my phone so y'all in the process i will be just moisturizing my scalp with some conditioner just to add some you know what i'm saying to the she's yeah. adding conditioner to the scalp mm. <laughs> i don't know if I'm <laughs> Condition it to the scalp. First of all, condition is meant to go on your strands, not on your scalp, because it does cause buildup. I suppose she's going to wash it out, but she says she wants to put some moisture in her hair, so she puts conditioner on her scalp. Make it make sense. <laughs> oh, damn, 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 damn. Okay, see, one thing about when you're doing your hair, if you're making faces because it's hurting, then you need to stop. You shouldn't be forcing kinks and cut. You need to, like, take your time, be calm. The video is fast-forwarded a bit, but I can still see that she might be going a little bit faster and, like, forcing the tangles out. Bear in mind, this is six or seven months build-up and congestions and all sorts of things. And sis just grabbed the comb straight away, just started going at it. No care in the world. <laughs> I would do this differently. At least use your fingers to begin with and then when I know that I've removed the big big chunks of knots then I'll go in with a comb to remove the rest of the shedded hair because like there's loads of shedded hair that's been trapped in the hair and she's just grabbed like I know she's using a white tooth comb but she's going at it bruh a lot of people be like my hair nappy like to be honest y'all when you wear protective styles like this it is natural for your hair to shed, okay, inside of braids. When it comes to handling her hair, she does have the right concept. It's just that she just goes in with a comb straight away. The fact that she's making, you know, uncomfortable faces, it just means that it's not comfortable, like, dealing with the hair. It's, she's not making it comfortable for herself, which, yeah. It defeats the purpose of a protective style, really. It, when you're protective styling, first of all, how you handle your hair before you install the protective style, and how you handle your hair during the protective style, and how you handle your hair after or during the takedown, that's what's going to determine how much length you retain. Yeah, you get three inches of growth at the root, but you're not treating the rest of the hair with care. And you're just going at it, dragging it, and it's just breaking. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you guys saw that, right? She's combing instead of using the, the little tooth thingy of the comb to unravel because yeah that helps i do use that sometimes but she's using the actual teeth of the comb to comb out the braid 
I feel like she's in a rush like never do your hair when you're in a rush maybe she's not in a rush per se but like she's just rushing the process rather than taking her time to actually sit down and do her hair properly doing your hair should be something that's an enjoyable experience like your time alone self-care but she's like this part that I'm watching obviously isn't sped up and you I, you can see like she's just she's combing it like sis no 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 see she's getting single strand knots at the end and then she just combs it out um <laughs> with a with a rat tackle ah, sister 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 <laughs> I don't mean no shade to her. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Please do not come for me. <laughs> this video could be a video for all of us to learn something from each other and be entertained and drink some good tea. Cheers. <laughs> uh, She says she's about to take a break. I mean, take a break, sis, because that takes forever. I wouldn't have expected me to be done in the amount of time that she's done it. So, no lie, y'all. I got tired, okay? <laughs> we are down to our last three braids. Well, two and a half. Now, look at this, though. I want y'all to see all the dirt building. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Ooh, that's under Okay, that is nasty. Nasty. You nasty. <laughs> you nasty, girl. <laughs> I really hope she was wearing, or she was wearing a bonnet. But, like, I meant to say I hope she was wearing a bonnet for bed. Because, you know, get you one of these. <laughs> Do you know when she's combing out the hair, you can hear the comb snapping. That is not a good sign. You should never be hearing your comb snapping away when you're combing your hair. Like, girl, it's not a good sign. It's literally not a good sign. This is so painful to watch, you guys. I'm watching. I'm like, this is supposed to be nice and satisfying to watch the takedown like it is. But then at the same time, it is painful to see like how she's handling her hair the way she's combing it out Woo, child mm, 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 mm. i feel like the hair is just breaking off as it's been taken down like she snapped half of it already by the time <laughs> See that part when she was combing out the line of demarcation where the, you know the new growth meets the old hair. That part needs to be catered to properly because that part is particularly prone to breakage. Caress it, don't rush it. <laughs> but she just dragged that comb through it, and then you can hear the comb snapping away. And it's dry, like the hair is dry. There's no moisture, no misting of any sort. At least, at least mist your hair a little bit. You don't want to dampen it because you don't want it to start matting together. Like, that's the problem. It's the fact that she just goes in with the comb. Like, as soon as she's done separating the strands, like, never mind combing through with the fingers to see if there's any or even just feeling the hair to make sure that there are any other knots and she just goes in with a comb like. 
So y'all know it's a lot of combing out that I have to do. Um, especially around like these edges and stuff. I have to break this dirt down. <laughs> Man, the fro is froing. Okay, I guess that's the end of the video. She's just filling us out. She's taking out the hair. I think it must have taken about maybe an hour or two to take down the hair because some parts of the video sped up. But it was quick still. For a protective style that was in for six to seven months, for it to come out in that quickness, that would have taken me maybe a day. That was interesting to watch and also painful to watch at the same time. So the way she handles her hair, it's interesting to watch and we've all been there so I'm not really judging I've been there where I'm combing my hair like there's no tomorrow like I just want to get that knot out you know <laughs> and now when I see other people doing it like uh, I cringe so that brings us to the end of this video and I really hope that you enjoyed watching the video with me reacting let me know what are your thoughts in the comment section below I will link the original video in my description box for you guys to go and watch if you want to see the full video yourself thank you so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if this is your first time here and join the tribe and as always live your best natural Period. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Oh, God.